Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song called Oh Sweet Lorraine. And we start on a G major for our intro and our verses. And we, the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and the third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to a C major chord. The way you play C major, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret. Second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the A string to the high E string, then that sounds a C major chord that sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to go to an A minor chord, the way you play A minor. First finger is going to stay on the B string first fret, second finger on the D string second fret, but then third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord that sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to a D major chord. First finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and the third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you count from just the D string to the high E string, then that sounds a D major chord that sounds really, really happy. And at the end of our intro, actually, we got a couple of those D majors. And there's a couple different ways you may want to kind of work that strum pattern wise. Actually, we'll talk about some finger style options too. Um, but one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you take the G and just try that a lot, you have down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So we tried that through our intro. We'd have G with a down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, up, D. Or something else that I like to add to a song like this too is bass notes. And a lot of times on that very first down of the down, down, up, up, down, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the G chord, you can do the low E string for your bass and then keep the down, up, up, down. Up. So G with low E bass, down, up, up, down. And on the C chord, you'd have the A string for your bass. So C with an A bass, down, up, up, down. But on the A minor chord, you'd have the A string for the bass. A minor with an A bass, down, up, up, down. And then on the D chord, you'd have the D string for your bass. D with the D bass, down, up. Bass down, up, up, down. Up. So we tried it that way. We'd have G with Louis bass down, up, up, down. C with an A bass down, up, up, down. A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down. D with a D bass down, up, up, down. D with a D bass down, up, up, down. Big D. Or if you wanted to finger style through this, actually, there's a couple different ways you could do it. And the way finger style normally works is thumb's going to be your bass player for the E and the A and the D string. Index finger could go to the, just the G string by itself. Middle finger's job is to play the B string, and the ring finger's job is to play the high E string. And so what you could do just to kind of try practicing through, like, so some basic finger style is take the G chord and then kind of do try and do thumb index middle ring is kind of an option. So I'm kind of using my thumb for the bass player on the low E string and then kind of playing G, B, and E after it. And then when you get to the C chord, you can do the A string for your bass and kind of keep that same pattern going. And then on the A minor, you can do the A string for your bass. A bass. And then when you get to your D chord, you can do the D string for your bass. So if we tried it that way through our intro, it's almost like doing two patterns on each. So you'd have kind of G, C, I kind of do it all, all, all for the fingers at the very, very end. Or another option, actually, that sounds a lot like the recording, is to kind of do the... Oh, I love this pattern. Yeah, you, know, you can do thumb, middle, index, ring, and come back middle, index, middle. So thumb, middle, index, ring, middle, index, middle. So I'm going low E, B, G, high E, B, G, B, kind of come with the fingers. And with that pattern, actually, actually, you just end up doing that pattern one time for each chord. So we tried it that way. You have G, C with an A bass, A minor with an A bass, D with a D bass, D with a D bass, and then kind of a big D. And then from there, then we go into our, our verse course. And our verse course actually follows that, that main progression, the G, C, A minor, D. And we end up doing that five times and then kind of doing kind of almost like a stop time thing with our D. So we tried our verse chorus with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We'd have the G with down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or we could try that with bass.
bases. And I do the low E bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, M R with an A bass down, up, up, down, D with a D bass down, up. Try that with, with kind of that P, uh, thumb index middle ring pattern, and we have kind of the G, C, A minor, D major, G major, C major, A minor, D major. Or we could try that other pattern, and we have the, the thumb middle index ring, middle index middle C. And then from there, then we go into our bridge part, and our bridge starts on A minor, and then we go to the C major chord, and then we go to D major, and we do another D major, and then we repeat all that. So we have A minor, C major, D major, D major, and then we kind of have a couple extra Ds at the very, very end of our bridge part. So if we try our bridge with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we have A minor with down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up. Up, down, D, down, down, up. Up, down, D, down, down, up. Up, down, E minor, down, down, up. Up, down, C, down, down, up. Up, down, D, down, down, up. Up, down, D, down, down, up. Up, down, D, down, down, up. Up, down, a big D. Or if we tried that with our bases, we have A minor with an A bass, down, up. Up, down, C with an A bass, down, up. Up, down, D with an E bass, down, up. Up, down, D with an E bass, down, up. A bass down up, up down C with an A bass down up, up down D with the D bass down up, up down D with the D bass down up, up down D with the D bass down up, up down big D. Or if we tried that with our, our PIMA or thumb index middle ring pattern, we got A minor, C major, D major, D major, A minor. We did that with kind of our other pattern. We have have the thumb middle index ring on the A minor, C, D major, D major, A minor, C major, D major, D major, D major, D major. And then from there, then we'd be going back into kind of our verse course for the end. So we have our G major, C. basics of how you could have kind of finger style through and, and strum through Oh Sweet Lorraine. So good luck!